Hey guys, and welcome to Skulls of the Shogun. My name's Ian Higton from Eurogamer, and I'm going to be taking you through the first level of the game, which is due out today on the Xbox Live Arcade, Windows 8 PC, Surface, and Windows Phone. It's going to cost you uh, 1,200 Microsoft points on the uh, Xbox 360 if you want to give it a download. And it's the first release from industry veteran Jake Kasdal's new studio, 7 bit. Uh, let me start the campaign now. There is a versus mode as well. But I'm going to be showing you the campaign and its opening tutorial level. Uh, so if I start a new campaign now, we'll see the opening uh, intro sequence, I guess. So Skulls of the Shogun is a fast-paced turn-based strategy game and it's set in the samurai afterlife. So there you go, that uh, samurai there is General Akamoto and uh, he's been backstabbed by someone and he's now returned in skeletal form in the afterlife. And there we go, Skulls of the Shogun, it's a very kind of light-hearted, uh, nice fun turn-based strategy game. has a very easy to get into tutorial mode right at the beginning for anyone new to turn-based strategy games. There we go. So the very first level, there's a, a world map. Can't go anywhere except for this first level, so let's start it up now. There is, of course, multiplayer as well. Here we go, pulling up on the shores of the afterlife. What is this place? Am I... dead? Alright fella, line to the afterlife, forms to the right, let's keep it moving. I'm no fella, you will address me as either General Akamoto or the Great General Akamoto. Ha, <laughs> yeah right, sure fella, and I'm meant for a fancy pants of the fourth of the magical mushroom kingdom. Now, get in line or I'll dish out more of this. You dare assault me? Dirty Ronin, you asked for it. Hey, Suzu, this guy counterattacked me over here. So we go round one, straight into some action. As I said, this is the first level of the game. There's a tutorial uh, that goes with the game. Uh, I have to press A first off to order General Akamoto around. Uh, this circle shows his uh, kind of the radius of his movement. And uh, says here, press X to attack the enemy once you see the enemy gleam white. So you can see and go ping. There is he shining white, and if I press X, and then X again to confirm, yeah, he's chopped him right down. Hey, did you see that? The new guy has some fight in him. What did he say his name was? Akamoto. There's an air of strength and honor about him. Plus that guy, <laughs> plus that sweet stash. The last guy didn't have that. So here we go. Hey, General Akamoto, wait, we would pledge our swords to you, sir, if you would have us. Yes, join me, soldiers. Speaking of swords, where is my second sword? So we've got ourselves uh, getting a bit a bit of a posse up going, uh, going on now. Hey, you there, no recruiting. Oh, you're in trouble now, get him, Miss Suzu. Here we go, round two. It's my turn first. Give orders to units every turn. Once orders you once ordered, you can move the unit and attack if the enemy is in range. So I can now go around selecting different units. So if I order uh, this unit here, he's a mounted unit. So his radius of attack, if I cancel that, should be larger than yeah the foot soldier there. So let's take the uh, mounted uh, samurai and shoot. There we go. After movement, you can use up any leftover movement. Select a new unit. Tell the current one to wait. There. 
So I got counter-attacked, but I'm going to move him away into the safety. Uh, since I've used up my actions for this round, I'll put away my weapons. Everyone else, attack! <clears throat> so let's select General Akimoto, try and do a finishing move. Black bars on flags show the damage both units will do. So uh, I gave him three units of damage. He gave me one as his counter-attack. Let's move General Akimoto back and select the final one. He can't go anywhere, so I'll just line him up against uh, the others. Hmm, I can't reach him. If a unit can't attack, use A to hold it there. Resume. Oh yeah, we're ready to end your turn. Press LB and enter. Here we go. So that's the enemy's turn. It's a pleasure to serve you, my lord. Tell me, what is this line they speak of? The line to the four seasons of the uh, glorious afterlife? Come on, we will show you. Basically, every dead samurai has to wait in line to be judged. Those found worthy are allowed into the first season of the afterlife. Hey, get in line and wait. Who said you could wear your earthly colours? Remove them and get back in line this instant. The great General Akimoto does not take orders. He gives them. Ha! We keep the order around here and you're out of line, rogue. Let's show this imposter how we guards deal with crazy liars. I'm on it. Get behind the rocks, Yoshi. Maybe you'll be protected from attack, or at least out of their attack range. Aye. So, my guy here. Uh, I'll use my foot soldier here. He should be able to reach. <clears throat> yeah, here you go. Attack. So I'm going to attack this one and confirm the attack. Boosh! And I've used... Uh, my knock back on the attack to knock him off the cliff and kill him in one. Ha! Right into the drink. Excellent work, soldier. I'll have to use knock back to push a unit over the ledge and kill them instantly. Knock back. So that's what the flashing white line indicates whenever I attack. Oops, I probably should explain. <laughs> stop explaining everything out loud. Right. So let's advance. We don't want to leave our guys too exposed. My knight on the horse can attack here. Gets a little puny one damage off his counter attack, but it's all good. And uh, we finished. It's now time for the enemy to go. I'm not a big fan of turn based games, to be honest. I find them a little bit slow paced. But uh, this one does seem to. Uh, this does seem to be uh, very easy to get into. Is there no honor here? No respect? I'm a mighty general. I was nearly Shogun. Tell us about it. They treat us like garbage just because we didn't have masters when we died. Indeed, they call us Dirty Ronin. We aren't even allowed in line. Speaking of which, it's just ahead. So off we go. Uh oh, it's a big line. What, what? Welcome to the shores of the dead, fallen what warrior? <laughs> the line for the glorious after night starts right ha ha here. <laughs> Have a wow wow wonderful wait. Approximate wait time from this point 512 years. What? You there, soldier? How long have you been waiting in line? Oh man, I don't know, 20 years, give or take? This, this is madness. I will have my eternal reward and I will have it now! Okay, got it, sir. I better get going, sounds like we have a troublemaker in line. Listen up, Scruffy, you and your little skeleton crew are gonna need to queue up like every insolent dog. Lord Akamoto queues for no man! Funny you mention that name, because I was just now talking with the real Lord Akamoto. What? And he told me to be on the lookout for an imposter. What? Guards, it's him, the imposter! So we're straight into a new battle by the looks of things. This ain't, uh, this ain't good, boss. Finally, a real battle. Fight, fight. Lord Akamoto, I believe you. Let me join your course. Yeah, forget this line. I missed the thriller battle. So we're slowly gathering troops. 50 rice on Mr. Mustache. Round six. Here we go. They are. So the enemy units are quite far away from me at the moment. I guess there's no choice but to advance. When you're done, get behind me if you can. We infantry have the strongest defense. 
They call me Damage Sponge in high school because of my damage, uh, high defense. So let's uh, move these guys up forwards. When two or more allies get close, they form a spirit wall, a barrier that blocks enemy movement and attacks. Nice. So, bunch them all up together, basically. You can only give five orders per round. Uh oh, running out of orders then. Akimoto is your most powerful unit, but if he dies, your game is over. So, I'm going to protect Akimoto. If you don't, we need defeat for all of us. He's also your strongest warrior, so there's a kind of like a risk or a reward there. Do you chuck him in to do some heavy damage and risk losing the game, or do you just uh, keep him at the back, hiding? There we go. He's straight in, that bad guy. Managed to give him equal damage in my uh, counter move. I'm going to get my cavalry up there and attack this guy. Minus three. Counted me. Only, he only took one off. So, let's get my other cavalry to finish him. I probably shouldn't have used my cavalry though. I am so bad at turn based strategy games. After an action, you can use up any remaining movement a unit has left. Positioning is key to a good strategy. So, you can obviously hit and run with an enemy. You want to pop out, hit him, and then, if you can, run back. Lucky shot, lucky shot. You think you're tough? A flash wound? Nothing more. Will someone shut him up, please? Says General Akimoto. He's already dead, boss. Twice over, in fact. What else can we do? Someone over there. Someone go over there and eat it. You heard me. Eat that skull. Wait, what? So. Let's, uh, let's make General Akimoto eat the skull and see what happens. Eating a skull uses up an action just like an attack, so if I want to do anything apart from eat a skull, then I'm going to have to, with General Akimoto, I'm going to have to pick someone else to do it. Uh, okay, there we go. I feel, I feel so alive. Gross. So each skull eaten heals that unit with 3 HP and boosts their maximum HP by 2. I'm going to be sick. Okay, cool. Let's see, have I got another cavalry? I've used both my cavalry. I don't think I can get close enough to hit anyone, so let's just get my infantry round to protect Akamoto. Boy, this escalated quickly. I mean, it, got re it really got out of hand fast. Don't worry, more reinforcements are on the way. Let's give these dirty Ronin what for. Keep eating those skulls. We will need to all the strength we can muster. Oh, he's going for Akimoto, but Akimoto going back with a good counter. Cavalry against cavalry there. Charge! Yeah, I've never been good at time based strategy games. I don't have the. Uh, I, I just don't have that forward planning ability. I don't have the stomach for this, that guy says. Eating skulls? Hardcore man. So. Let's get some more skulls eaten. I'm going to pick on this guy because he's already taken a little bit of damage. And hide him back there to protect General Akimoto. And let's get this guy up here. Chop it! Right, he's dead. Let's position my cavalry there and get Akimoto to eat another skull. Let's make Akimoto a super tough guy. <laughs> there we go. Hide him back behind the reinforcements. Oh wow, I feel a little tingly. I wonder if eating one more skull might do something crazy. Yes, the third skull is the charm. Eat another, the next chance you get. Sounds good to me. Right, let's send my cavalry down to attack this guy. This is two. This is two. And this cavalry down again to attack. I think I cocked that up by not getting close enough. LB to end the turn. But my guys are bunched together, so hopefully they'll uh, attack General Akimoto. Oh no. 
One of the cavalry's just killed one of my guys. Should we eat our own team's skulls too? What? Gods, no! I applaud your unorthodox thinking, but that is not the samurai way, says General Akimoto. Really? Yes, really, that's disgusting. Okay, they've used up their moves. <coughs> Round nine. Let's see which one is their weakest. I guess it's going to be one of these guys. Just go for this cavalry guy behind. Maybe I should eat a skull, he says. No. No skulls for you. I didn't realise there was another enemy skull on the floor. Let's get General Akimoto to eat that skull now. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Eat skull! Eat three skulls to turn into a demon. Demons get an extra attack uh, action each round. Use your second action to attack. Roar! Demon Akamoto is upon you! <laughs> oh, we are so boned. Okay, here we go. Attack! Can I attack again now? He's used up his uh, used up his second attack, didn't he? There we go, one's down. Nice. There's only two of them left now. One more. I'm hurt, so my attack is weakened, but I can still fight. Let me finish off a badly uh, damaged enemy. Eating a skull would heal me. Um, I don't want to heal him. Can I not use one more? Yeah, attack. Yeah, finished off that badly damaged enemy. Enough, this uprising ends now. Time to quash this little rebellion. Lord Akimoto up here. Move the camera with the right stick to look around. What have we got here, my lord? All this death and senseless killing. Don't you see what you're doing? You're gonna be excited! Hehehe, <laughs> you wanna kill guys dead? I'm your Huckleberry. I'm pretty sure Huckleberry's not a word samurais would have used. I'll snipe fools from up here with my ranged attack. LB to end the turn. I, yep, end the turn. So let's see what's going on now. I've got a lot of weak soldiers now because I chose to uh, concentrate on killing and buffing Akimoto up. These guys can't reach me though. Oh, here they can. Whoops, round 10. So let's show off the archer. He can attack from up here and not get any kind of counters on him, so let's attack. I guess just take down this guy. So he's lost three. Just leave him there. Let's get Lord Akimoto down there. He's got two attacks. So he could quite easily finish off this guy. And then do a nice bit of damage to this guy. Oh, four damage there, and he only got one damage back from the counter. So I'll hide him back in between all my enemies, uh, all my allies. And send out the cavalry. There we go. Finished another one off. Retreat right back there. That's all the moves I can do. End my, end my turn. Here we go. There's one enemy left. He's not able to do much. Oh, he's killed one of my guys, though. So. Whoops. He's not going to last any longer, though. Taken down, Archer. Kabloosh! Finish him off with General Akimoto. There he goes, he's down. Woohoo, 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 woohoo! Wow, we won! Great job, boss, I'm impressed. Wait until I find my other sword. You haven't seen anything yet now. Let's move out. Winner! Nice victory in 12 rounds. There we go. I uh, came 120th. With uh, 15 percent <laughs> uh, played, so 15 uh, percent 
I, don't know, I guess I lost a lot of people. I didn't do it very well, basically. Uh, but I'm sure people who do like turn-based strategies will do a lot better than me. Um, uh, and uh, you'll be able to play on this game. as this, this game is out now as you're watching this video, uh, basically. So uh, if you liked what you've seen, make sure you go and give this game a download now. Uh, please do click the link at the top of the screen right now uh, to read Christian Donlan's review of the game. Uh, that link will take you straight to Eurogamer's website where you can read exactly what he thinks about the game and you'll be getting a much more detailed view of the game. There's loads more to do in the game. It opens up with loads more uh, things. Um, you can haunt things and stuff to gain rice, to buy new uh, troops and units. And, and Yeah, there's loads of stuff. I, I haven't got very far in the game at all just because I'm so bad at it. But uh, yeah, that was a quick look at the, uh, at the game. Uh, please do go read the review and go give the demo a download. Even if you don't want to buy it, maybe give the demo a download and see what it's like. Because all the demos on the Xbox Live are okay to free anyway. So thank you very much anyway for watching. Please do make sure to subscribe to Eurogamer by clicking on the link on the bottom of the screen. Because uh, we've got loads of live streams, uh, exclusive Let's Plays, early Let's Plays, early Game Plays, exclusive interviews. Loads of stuff all coming up on the channel. And it'll be great to have you here watching and uh, enjoying the content with me. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.